Howdy everybody, it's Sherry and I'm in the craft camper. Happy Eclipse Day. How are y'all doing? Mm. My coffee is hot. My coffee is hot today. So if you're hopping on, say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. Are you going to be watching the eclipse today? I, um, I'm a bad homeschool mom and I didn't get glasses and they're like sold out everywhere. So yeah, so there's that. It's very sunny today though, which I think they said there were going to be clouds. And I think it's probably going to be a good viewing day unless it, um, unless it, you know, gets cloudy, which it could do. Hello, Kim from Poughkeepsie. How are you doing? Oh, pumpkin bee creations stopped in to say hi. I don't know if you're on here still, but hello to you. I hope your trip, your um, flights went well. As you're all hopping on, say hello. We have Bill and Joyce Arrington. Um, good morning, Sherry. I'm back. Took a little hiatus. He took a little hiatus. I kind of took a hiatus this, this weekend, guys. I'll show you what I got done, but it wasn't much. And um, I have to catch up on my email and I'm behind in all my cranking. And But it was a good weekend, though. I hope you all had a good weekend. Nikita, good evening to you. Thank you for being here. Mm. I'm just down in my water before I drink my coffee. I'm trying to stay hydrated. Hello, Pam Tyler. How are you? We have Sunny Chaos Studios. Hello. Watching the eclipse soon. Yes. I I think, um, I don't know where y'all like, is it like about three, like in the Midwest here? I don't know what the, in the totality area. I have no idea. We're like 90%, I think. It's a little freaky. I don't know. It'll be, I took a longer walk this morning. I walked two miles this morning. I'm feeling it a little bit. I used to do it every single day. Like my early morning walk was always like a couple miles. And um, I got on the scale this morning, guys. And I'm like, I think I should walk a little farther today. But the sun is like up and beautiful and gorgeous. And um, yeah, so it'll be a little weird later when it goes dark, right? But Sunny Chaos Studios, thank you for being here. Judith, how are you? How are you, Judith? Sing to you. Mm. Rhonda Seals. Hello, Rhonda Seals from Tallahassee, Oklahoma. It's not letting me pick you, but there you are. Hello. Hello, Amanda. You all are popping in and saying hi. Thank you for saying hi. We have Debbie Craw. Pam says doing well, nice and sunny. It's sunny here too. I love the sun. It feels so nice. It's so nice, guys. It's like 59. It feels like could be 70 degrees out, but it feels so good and I need the sunshine. And um, yes, I'm so excited. I can feel the the cloud of the cabin fever lifting. Naomi celebrated 50th anniversary. Well, congratulations. Congra 50 years. That's that's a long time. Congratulations to you. That's awesome. Terry Shank. Hello. Um, Tallahassee 95%. So you're like almost, yeah, you're like almost right there. Almost 100%. Uh, Amanda says it's cloudy in West Virginia. That's a bummer. Like for anybody. Okay, guys, I'm going to be frank. I'm like, I, I, I'm not like into it. Like I feel bad. Like I should be more excited. This is something that doesn't happen very often. I know lots of you maybe are excited about it and I just am not very excited. I'm like, it's going to go dark for a few minutes and yeah, that's cool. I don't know. I feel, and I felt bad with the kids. I'm like, oh, I probably should have got you guys classes and we should be like going someplace to watch and yeah, we're not doing that. We're not. Yep. I'm bad, bad mom. Hello, Paul. How are you? Or hello, Lindsay and Paul in the UK. How are you doing? How are you doing? I think you were the one that asked about panels. Are you the one that asked about panels? Hopefully you got that figured out. I hope so. If not, give me a shout if I can help in any way. Wendy Castle, good morning to you. How are you? Iris Brown. Hello. We have Diane Brindley in the UK. Guys, okay. So this is going to be my like, um, we're going to call this the eclipse hat. This is some of my favorite color variation yarn from ice. I'm trying to go through my stash. So we're going to use that today. I was debating. I was debating whether I should use the Addy or I should use my Z machine. I think I'm going to use the Z machine. Um, but I, I so love this little tool here. And guys, guys, did you see it's warm? So I can't like, like I'll get hot wearing it. Did you see my call it the clown hat? My Friday hat video, guys, I typically can't wear the hats that I make on the Addy because they're, I could, but they're, they squeeze my head and this is four weight yarn and it fits very nicely. It's a little big. I made it a little bit bigger, but it's because of this little guy. 
and I love it. But I think I am going to use the Z machine today. But if you have not checked out Southpaw Fiber Arts Little, if you have an Addy machine, I'm telling you that's a game changer because uh, you will probably see me using my Addy more because of that little tool. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I don't know if Sean is on here, but um, Peggy, hi again in Hyde Park, New York. How's the baby? The baby is doing better. Um, I don't know. Like, okay. So thank you for asking though, too. She, um, Haley was able to get, they're doing some like little, very low dose antacids for reflux and then also some probiotic. And I think that combo, she's getting a much happier baby. Plus the baby's getting older, maybe being able to deal with stuff a little more, but Peggy, I don't know. I kind of like Yaya. Does that sound silly? It's kind of like, I think it's Greek for grandma, I think. And I'm not Greek at all. I'm like German, Polish, mixish whatever. So, um, can you tell I have a little, I have a little bit of Polish nose. Like that's where my Polish nose comes from. My mom's side, my grandfather was Polish, but, um, and then my dad was German and Indian and mishmash and my mom was as well. But, um, but I like Yaya, but I don't know what she's going to call me. Cause I know I could say a name and I suppose Haley could like coax her into saying the name. She can call me whatever she wants. She's so darn cute. I miss her though. I want to go see her again already. I'll see her at the end of the month. So I'm excited for that. Pam Tyler, 95% totality in Lansing area. Yeah, see, that's good. And hopefully, hopefully in Lansing, Pam, my mitten, mitten friend, um, you'll be able to have a good view of it too. Hopefully it won't be cloudy. Mm. Narelle is fine in Australia. What time is it in Australia? Like, is it early morning? I should know this. You guys talk to me all the time and I can't remember. I can't remember my time zones at all. Bill and Joyce says we're supposed to get 50% coverage and currently it's 30, 31 degrees. What? That's cold. It's warm here. I'm going to rub it in. It's not 70. Oh, 75. I thought Pam was going to, I'm going to yell. It's not 75. Pam says next on it is 75 years. Oh, for the, for the anniversary next on in next. Oh, next one is in. Oh yeah. Pam, I should be more excited. You're talking about the, the eclipse. Yeah. Cause I won't be around for it. Will I, I don't think I'll make it for 75 more years. Um, Wendy says it is silly. You think it's silly. I, I just feel weird. Molly, how are you? Hello, Molly, 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 Molly. I need to answer my emails. Um, Pam Tyler, one. Next. Oh, yes, yes. I gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, Wendy, let's see. The solar eclipse is silly. They are putting out warnings for our animals. I have 100 cows and over 100 birds. I can just see putting glass. <laughs> because they might look up and stare. Oh, that's hilarious. See, I kind of think, I feel bad that I, like, like it's going to go dark, like here. This is Sherry's eclipse. You can no longer see my face. I feel bad. I shouldn't be like that because some people are really into it and it's like interesting and cool for them. And this is me. I have a hard time like wrapping my head around like what's going on right here on our planet, like right here. <laughs> some days I'm just baffled. And so I'm not really someone who's like real interested in what's going on out there, like in outer space. And I, that's just me. I, you know, the stars are beautiful. The planets are gorgeous, but I myself am just like so into what's going on right here that I don't really, it's just not my thing. It's not my thing. Some people are into it. None of my kids are like, some of them are more into it than I am, but, um, I don't know. I feel a little bad cause I'm not, I'm just not, it's not, it's not something that really is like, maybe I should be more intrigued, but I'm so intrigued by all of you that I like the stars. That's beautiful, but you're more beautiful to me. So I, I'm more interested in that. I, I don't know. It's just me. I, yeah, I'd rather spend like lots of time with people than go stare at the stars. Even though some days I don't want to spend time with people. <laughs> okay. I'll stop. All right. Um, Amanda says I ordered one on Friday after I saw your videos. Oh, awesome. Amanda. Welcome to the club. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. I, I need to get Cece says I live in Indianapolis. We are hundred percent. And I feel the same way about the eclipse. Not really even planning on coming outside. Yeah. I just feel, I, I feel like it's a distraction for what's going on in the world right now. I have to tell you, I have not watched the news for the longest time. And then I've been watching the news again and I'm like sad about the world and I need to stop watching the news again. But I have to tell you, I, it's a distraction for what's going on because stuff, stuff's not good. Right. 
stuff's not good. But I am excited and I'm going to be sharing more. But oh, I tell you, okay, let me tell you about my weekend and then I'll get logged on or logged on. What am I saying? I'll get cast on. I'll get logged on. Anyone have one of these? I went in search of this this weekend. It's a crocodile. Now I have like the smaller one and all of you paper loving people out there are going to know what this is, but I have an Etsy shop that's going to be opening soon and I'm working on some stuff and I'm not going to tell you what's going to be in my Etsy shop. I'll just, it'll be a surprise for you. Um, but I've been working on some stuff and I needed this guy here. So I had to go to Michael's and the Michael's is like an hour and 15 minutes, hour, 20 minutes from my house. So I bought it cause I got it. But then they had some other uh, We Are Memory Maker stuff. I'm a sucker for the We Are Memory Maker stuff. I don't know. I'm not a paper crafter, really. But anyways, I got that, and then I bought something else. And then the something else I got didn't work out. So then I'm like, I should return it because, okay, because they had this guy. I've always wanted one of these for when I had my shop before, my Etsy shop before. Oh, I lost my camera. I'll have to get that back on. There we go. You can't see it, but. It's back on now. I got one of these. It's a shot box and it's, we are memory makers. And normally this thing's like super expensive and it was only like 30 bucks guys. It was on clearance. So I can shoot my things that I'm selling on my Etsy shop in my shot box and with the lighting and everything. So anyways, I had to share. So that was my weekend because, because like, it takes a long time to get there and it takes a long time to get home. And then we did it again yesterday after church. And then I had to go get the kids cause they were staying at our older daughter and son's house for the weekend. Some of them were, I did manage to get one more tube for my knit the bridge project done. I have to close my tube ends. I have to close them still. So somebody had asked me how my knit the bridge project was going and I'm doing this big panel 67 by 44 and I'm using the Addy Addies to do it, the, the 46 and the 22. So thank you. So thank you, Shauna and your husband for this awesome little tool, because I'm using that. Um, this is all I have done for my project. <laughs> I need to get busy guys. I need to get busy. Okay. So let me clean my machine down and then I'll still chat with you and I'll scroll and stuff. Sandy's not here today. Cause she had to, um, she has some family stuff going on. She, so, but she stopped in and said hi to me before, but we'll miss her today. So you all have to behave. Nikita's here and she'll get you. But y'all have to behave because Sandy's not here. Okay. Um, all right. Let me get this clamp onto my little guy here. Hold on. And then we'll use the ice yarns and we'll start cranking out a hat. And I am behind, guys. I was going to have four hats a week done for fall again for donation. I've done not that many. I mean, I've, I'm probably, I'm probably about six behind, I think. I'm thinking that's where I'm at. So I want to get caught up on, cause it's like my goal. I wanted, to, I wanted to do four a week and I haven't been because now I'm not like tonight. I'm not doing my live tonight guys. Um, so I normally would make a community hat tonight too. So I've got to make sure that I'm sticking with my goals because I want to be able to help more people. So, okay. So I'm going to get this cast on. We're going to use, Oh, let me, let me show. Let me do this. I have to add it to the stage. Let me entertain you. There we go. Okay. Can you see it? Is it good? I don't know if it'll stay on. It keeps popping off of there. Hopefully it will. I should have wound. I have a box over here. I have my new winder. I haven't even opened the stinking box yet. I need to do that. I'm so, I feel like I'm really behind. Um, I, I did work on the group. I did work on the group a bit Friday evening for quite a while, actually. So I've been working on that. I'm a little bummed at how our gallery is going to be because I wanted to have like a gallery gallery where you guys can have pictures with pattern information. And we'll do something similar to that, but it's not going to be as easy as what I anticipated in Mighty Networks. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I we're going to I'm starting a new you know, we have our Facebook crank knit community and you can join that. Please do. Actually, we have almost 9,500 people in there. Um, but I'm starting another group on mighty networks just because it'll be a standalone group. You can like, you'll be able to find stuff easier. You will not have to pay for it. It's going to be a free group. Um, but anyways, I'm working on that on the back end, and I'm just, it's going slower than I anticipated. I'm going to try this at the tightest. I don't know if it's going to work really well though. I'm still going to probably have to hold it a little bit. 
Oh, let's see, Sunny. I was using a knitting machine too, but after a while I realized the little tension holder on the end. Oh, broke off. You can still hold it or you can go to Southpaw Fiber Arts and you can get a tension, a tension, um, a replacement tensioner for either of your machines or any of your machines. Because that's what I'm using right now. I don't know that you can see it though. I've got it connected right here and it's a different tensioner. And I might, and this might be too tight for this yarn. We'll have to see. But now I'm starting to get to where I'm used to not holding the yarn. And it's a little weird for me, guys. It's still a little weird. Uh, let's see. Hannah Banana. Hannah Banana, I love your name. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saying you like the videos. That's really sweet of you. Appreciate it. Hey, Trisha, how are you doing, my friends? Good to see you here, even though I can't actually see you. You know what I mean. I'm just going to let it like loosely go through my fingers. I think this is going to work. I don't think it's going to be too tight. I don't think so. Oh, 2.08 a.m. I thought so. I thought it had to be late there or early. But thank you for watching. Mm. Connie, hello to you in Fort Wayne. That's where I grew up in the fort. Mm. I'm glad things are good. I'm glad it's sunshiny. Sandy, I thought you weren't going to be here. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm okay, Nikita. How are you? Sorry, I had to step away for a minute. That's okay. I wasn't really talking about anything important, Wendy. Uh, so Sandy is here. Sandy, I thought you weren't going to be here. Mm. Wendy, seen it before. My birds are making more noise than normal. Oh, is it, it for today? Yeah, is everybody kind of, it'll be interesting to see like what happens with the animals. I'm kind of interested to see what's going to happen. Uh, Kathy Williams, you're celebrating 54 years yesterday. Well, congratulations to both of you. That is really, that's so amazing. I love that. I love it. 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 I don't know if you all have been following along with me talking. Hello, Trina. How are you doing? Good morning to you. Following along about my Kenya person, um, Christine, she's in Kenya and she helps like teen moms and um, she'd reach out to me months and months and months ago. And I, behind the scenes, have been kind of helping her out to help her community. And I worked on getting machines like I I think they're going to get there today, finally delivered. And when did I ship them. It's been well over a month ago from China. I got them from Centro Knittings and, and it's been quite an ordeal to get these machines to her, but I'm so excited for them. Um, I think it's going to be kind of a game changer. One, because a lot of these girls don't have like any hope for their future. Like really, honestly, um, she's lost a lot of girls over the last few years, um, either to some of them during childbirth, they're like really young guys. It's like really sad story. But um, but anyways, I'm excited for them to get the machines. And I think we're getting them today. I haven't heard word from her yet. So they're coming from um, from from um, she's in Kenya. What What's the big what's the big city? I don't know. Well, anyways, they have to be delivered to where she's at. And um. I, I am going to be putting something together for like to, to kind of try it. I don't know if any of you all would be interested in helping me help them, but I'm, I'm hoping that maybe there'll be a few of you out there and we can come up with ways to do that. But, but I'm excited for them to start anyways. One, they'll be able to have the machines to try to, you know, be able to create and make, which will be good for them health wise, but also it may very well be a means for them because they have some markets in the area where they can sell items. So I'm kind of hoping that they can get um, proficient enough at it that the girls can maybe sell some of their wares that they make. So I'm excited. And I kind of thought maybe it would be too warm there, but in the evenings it does get kind of cool. So they could do hats. You know, they might even be able to do panels and do sweaters and things, but it'll be interesting to see. But I'll share. Once they have them, I'll start sharing pictures and stuff. And, and so you all can see what's going on with that. I'm very, very excited, though. Hello, Di I can't even talk. Hello, Lynn in Driftwood, Texas. The Salt Lake Eclipse Party. Love it, love it, love it. Hello, Barb. How are you doing? 
Nikita, I went fishing with my husband this weekend. I had to clear my head and the weather was beautiful. I enjoyed sitting by the water with my thoughts. That's awesome. Nikita, I'm glad you had a wonderful weekend. Fishing, it can be just being by the water itself, but I, I completely understand. Sometimes you just need that little extra. And I popped out here. And fishing is a lovely, lovely thing. Although I don't do it much anymore. My daughter still does. One of my daughters. Um, but I'm glad that you had a nice weekend. Very nice. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Cheryl, Wil Cheryl Wilkins. I keep getting tangled up here. I'm just kind of like, can you see this? I'm letting it go over my thumb just in case there'd be a knot. But I'm not really holding it. And it's doing really well. <laughs> Sandy, you're not really here. Okay, well, I'm glad you're not really here, Sandy. <laughs> you're funny. You're so funny. Now, see if I would have wound this ahead of time, right, guys? Oh, Roblox Stitch Fan, hello to you. Debbie Craw, that's Beanie Babe. Hello, how are you doing? Thank you, Roblox Stitch Fan, for saying that you love the videos. Hello, hello. Oh, PJ Mommy's in the car. Oh, I'll tell you guys, as I'm cranking this, it likes this color because it's going like muddy. We have Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Thomas got my 48 pin machine. Awesome. 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 I'm so glad. Hello, Pam Faber. How are you doing? Okay, Sandy's going now. Thank you for being in here. Stopping by, Sandy. Appreciate you. But I was going to say, if I would have wound this, it would be lots easier. Because I'll tell you, as I was cranking yesterday on my tube, being able to like go from the outside of the cake, not even the center pole, but like this was just pre-done. Because this is the mandala ombre that I'm using for my panel. It's so nice to not have to fiddle with the yarn like this. So I need to get my winder out and open it up. I have the nitpicks, guys. We talked about this last time. But I got, I did get that more like that more bigger the more bigger one uh, peace love homestead oh hello is it me Ni niloy niloy roy hello to you peace love homestead waiting for the eclipse here in virginia should be about 80 to 90 percent so what time for you peace love homestead because i know it's probably starting a little is it starting a little bit already guys i don't even know Oh, thank you for the hearts, Nil Niloy. Niloy. I keep saying your name really funny because I can't like talk. It's not like in the gray as much. Oh, there it goes. So are you all cranking a lot? Did, you, did anybody work this this on anything fun this weekend? Any cranky, cranky fun stuff? Peace, love, homestead says around 2 o'clock. Yeah, so not too far off, right? Not too far off. I got a tangle here. I have to tell you, though, we have car troubles again, guys. Oh, anybody, are you, like, laden? We, you know what, though? We have older vehicles, and we, you know, drive until the wheels fall off kind of thing. So you deal with that, but we had to take my husband's car in yesterday. So we find out this afternoon what's wrong with it. And it could be not so good. So pray for me that it's like not super expensive. Mm -hmm. um, what did Jeannie say? Jeannie said, all are all the wonders the same? Are all the, oh, the winders. Oh, um, no. Well, like the one that I got is bigger. So I'm hoping that it works a little better. The knit picks works okay. Somebody gave me the tip to like to take your, you know, like if you wind, take your, your little, what is it called, Sherry? Words, 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 your wrap, like your yarn wrapper, and then keep it in the center. But, um, and then use from the outside. And that would be good. Like the ice yarn, it would have the name, but it doesn't have the color. So that doesn't really help you so much on the ice yarns. But most of the other yarn that you would buy in the store, I, and I have like over here, guys. You think I have an issue? I went through and cleaned these all out once before. Think I use a lot of yarn. <laughs> kind of a lot. Kind of a lot. One fell down in there, but that's all right. We'll leave it. Um, but that's a good idea. Like to put those in the center. Mm -hmm. 
but I did get the nitpicks one initially because it was less money. So this one that I just bought was like $42, I think. I'll let you guys know. I'll let you know. I'll share with you. I am. I did have quite a few of you. I'll share this here. Let me grab it. Oh, sorry. Um, I did have quite a few of you ask about using the, um, the prim. So I'm going to, I'll do, I'll show you guys. I'll do some more of this. Like this one's stretched right here a little bit too much. Um, this yarn didn't work super good. I'm not going to lie. This cotton from Hobby Lobby, it looks all right, but it's, um, it was really fuzzing really bad. I do like how this turned out though. I do like it. I like it a lot. I want to do one for my granddaughter, do her name in it, do it a little bigger. Um, so I, that's my next project. And then, um, where's that at? Where's my little cranky cranky? I'll show you. It's over here. This is what I'm talking about. I did a video. So I'll maybe do a tutorial. I'm going to play around with it a little bit more before I do that. Um, but I do like it. It's a little finicky at first getting it started, but we'll have to see. But I did see, I think they're, I think there's not, I think they're sold out on Amazon. So I don't know. On Walmart, Walmart online had them and I tagged it in the video on YouTube. And the price wasn't too bad. It was comparable to what I paid on Amazon. But I think when I checked on Amazon for the Amazon shop to add it to my Amazon shop, I think it was sold out. Oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, Jacqueline, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Uh, uh, Wendy says, oh, my goodness. Man, so yeah, you know what? I saw, I saw your stuff, Wendy. Very nice. Beautiful hats. You did so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Connie, how much do the central machines run? Do they come with two or three sizes or do you purchase extras? Okay, Connie, um, this one here, this is the Z machine is what I call it, but it's like the Z, C, V, T, B, Y, E, zipped by or whatever. I'm not sure how you say it. Uh, it's just like the central 48. Let me, I have one back in the back here. So let me show you. So these are pretty much, see this one? It's pretty much the same machine. And it looks like this, Centro 48. Has a counter on it. My The counter on my Centro 48 still works. The counter on this machine no longer works. So I have an additional counter added to it. Um, but the 48, like this one, you can do, it does adult hats perfectly. You can do children through adult hats. The sizing is great. Um, you can do panels. So you can do single panels that are like this that you can turn into like sweaters or, you know, whatever you want to do. It's like endless creations. Now you can get smaller ones for doing other projects too. Um, but these are run guys. What, how much are they running right now? I don't even know, Connie. I'm not even sure. Um, but they come in a size, the central comes in a 48, a 40, um, a 32 and a 22. And you can also get like the loops and threads 40. I think prim maybe has like a, like a innovations prim or whatever. They have a 44, I think. Then there's the Addy 46 and the Addy 22. Uh, they're all somewhat a little different in terms of how they work just a little bit. Um, but the Centros and the Z machine, they're all very similar. They're a little finicky with yarn, um, but they're less expensive. I think they're about I don't know. Are they about $60 guys right now? I'm not even sure. Maybe somebody could help me with that because I haven't bought one in a little while. Um, they're a lot less expensive than the Addies. The Addies, like the Addy 46, this is what it looks like. You can kind of see. It's very similar in size, but it's a little bit smaller. There are lots more money. I think right now would be a good time to get an Addy if you want an Addy. Um, but they're more expensive. So if you're starting out and if you're, you know, an avid crafter and you're not sure if you're going to like it, I always suggest starting with the 48 pin to see if it's something you're going to like before investing in the Addy. That's just my opinion because I just know how I operate. And sometimes I get excited about a craft and then I I'm like not sure if it's for me after. So you're not investing as much, but um, yeah. So check it out. You can find um connie on amazon i do have on hoops and home hoop and home.com there's a supplies tab which is my amazon shop you can check out i have all the machines in there links to them i think they're all in stock they may not be but you can at least look at them and you can see hopefully that's helpful um genie all the winders are not necessarily the same i think they all kind of function the same but some of them are bigger than others i would say and like the one i got has like a metal base versus plastic so it'll be a little bit more heavy duty heavy duty duty 
Connie says, I'm working on a monster. Oh, that'll be fun. Oh, I'm excited. Have you shared pictures of it yet, Connie? I want to see it. I want to see your monster. Uh, Nikita, I can't make anything at the moment. A lot of complaints with my, yeah, you're hurting kind of bad. Yep. Take a break. Everybody, that's the other thing, you guys. It's it's fun and exciting to do this, but if you have any issues with your arms or your hands or your wrists, if you have arthritis, it's, you know, a lot of people have to stop crocheting or knitting because they have arthritis and these machines are great for that, but they will kind of wear on you too. So be mindful of your body, guys. Don't wear your body out. It's important to stay healthy. Mm. And sometimes you, you need a break from it. Sometimes you do. Um, oh, thank you, Wendy. Wendy shared a link there. Uh, Judas said she made some ear warmers, scarves, and neck warmers today. That's awesome. Um, Je Jeannie says, are hats the only thing you can make on the No, you can make lots of other things. You can do tubes and make tube blankets. You can do panels and make sweaters. Um, if you get a smaller machine too, if you do want to make stuffed animals, because you can make these too, like stuffed animals, you can do bigger stuffed animals. You can do littler stuffed animals. Um, I would suggest getting an Addy 22 if you think you want to do stuffed animals. We have, like, I have the angel pattern uh, free. I have that that um, rabbit pattern free on my YouTube channel. You can do, like, these. This, is, this would be something you would do on the smaller machine, on the 22 machine. And I do like the Addy 22 better than the Central 22. So if you're going to invest... I would, I would definitely, I would definitely get an Addy point if you want to do stuffed animals. But with the bigger machine, there's lots you can do um, with it. it it's, it, you see most like me making hats. I make hats all the time because I give them away. Um, that's my main thing that I do. Um, probably second to that is the stuffed animals, but you can do lots of other things. There's so many things you can do. And if you search on YouTube or even look, we have the Crank Knit community on Facebook all the ladies and gentlemen and everyone share all of their, the things that they've made in there. And there's just tons and tons and tons of stuff. It's so, so cool. Oh, Tom, Thomas said went with the Z machine. Yeah. I like the Z machine a lot. I do. I kind of like it better than the central 48. I know they're the same, but it does just crank a little better. Now my, now mind you, my counter broke pretty quickly. Oh, Wendy says about $50 right now. So see right now is the time to get a machine guys because as we go into summer they might even get a little lower in price because it's not as high demand in the winter everybody wants to make stuff uh pam says 60 dollars for the z machine i do know that it's a little bit more um but i kind of like it a little bit better i like the loom bot but they discontinued that so yeah um wendy castle says what are the little black stoppers that come with the addy pin size oh it's for panels, Wendy. Like if you want to mark your start and stop for your panels, I'll show you guys. Let me see if I have them. I may not have them handy. If I have them handy, I'll show you what she's talking about. It's these, these things. Um, they're called, at, and actually I think mine fell out. I think I have one in here. Do I have one? I don't even have, yeah, I do. Oh no, here they are. They go over. Let me see if I can do it on the little on the little one. I have not used them um, because I don't usually do my panels on, let me see. I think they go over like, like that. So it's like a little stopper that snaps over your pin there. So then when you crank, you can use it. You can use that. It'll stop it. You can't go past that. So if you're doing a panel, you can put them on your Addy and you can mark your areas because if you are doing panels, you have to pay attention not to like over, like you have to go a little bit past it, but you can't overshoot too far. So these will like set it up. So if you're doing a panel, it'll, it'll be like a little stopper. So just a little helpful thing, which if you're doing like lots of garment type stuff, um, they would be handy. I think if you're doing smaller panels, like on your 46 on the 22, I suppose you could use them too if you're doing really little panels, but um, that's what they're for. I've never used them. <laughs> I suppose there might be a time when I would, but I haven't. I haven't yet. Uh, Shauna, hello. Hello to you. Good morning. Oh, you're not late. I did talk about, um, I was filing the white rabbit to work. 
I did um, talk about your handy dandy tool. I'll tell you, I did another panel on my 22, my Addy 22 for my knit the bridge. And I was able to just set it and just not hold my yarn. And it did so good. Shauna, I love, I love it. And guys, if you just hopped on, I'll show you again. This is for the Addy. It's a tension guide, the ultimate tension guide. It's on Shauna's shop on Southpaw Fiber Arts. And it's just, I love it. I love it. I love it. It is definitely a game changer for your Addy machines. And I've got my other tension guide on this guy too. I don't know that you can see it though. This is Shauna's tension guide here too. You can kind of see it a little bit right here. A little bit. Yeah. So we'll do, I don't know how many rows I'm going to do on this one. I can't remember. We'll see where we're at when I hit, like if I get to 75 on the board, that's kind of like my little, my little guide. Once I get down to here, um, that'll kind of set where my rows will be. And that's how I judge. Miss Lady Lopez, how are you? It's been a while. Um, well, I'm sorry that you've been missing me, but I'm glad that you're here. I've just set an alarm. I'm really excited. I caught you on live. Congrats. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the congratulations. Yeah. I was actually almost late to my live because I was on, um, I hopped on a FaceTime with my daughter and my granddaughter. Um, so yeah, they're doing lots better. She's still, I mean, she's getting more sleep, which is good. So she's sleeping more, which means my daughter's sleeping more. So, but you know, as time goes on, you know how babies, they, it, go, it, it feels like forever in the moment, but then, um, then it gets better. Uh, Lisa Whaley says, does anyone know if the Bernat Super Saver yarn works well on the Z machine? I have not used it. What have I used that's Bernat? I did use something, but I can't remember what it was. It was like a patterned Burnett yarn, I think. But I don't think it was the Super Saver. I don't believe it was. I think it was something else. So if anybody's used that, let us know. I do know if it's like Red Heart, it wouldn't probably be great. I will tell you guys when I was in Michael's this weekend twice, um, I only bought one skein of yarn. I was so proud of myself and it wasn't even loops and threads, but I was feeling the loops and threads yarn that's comparable to like big twist. And it's kind of stiff. I wasn't really like, plus they didn't have, they didn't, I loved the Michael store. They had lots and lots of things, but when it came to yarn, they just didn't have much of a selection. But you guys will have to look to the Willet Crank, look for the Willet Crank for Sunday because I bought a skein of yarn that I'll be using. Um, there, Shauna shared her southpawfiberarts.com. You're sold out currently. Yay, that's good. But have some inventory back up within a week. Okay. Okay, well, that's good, though, that you sold out. I mean, that's good. I hope that's good. Um, yeah, so you guys, when she puts them back up, if you have an Addy, I'm telling you. And I'm not getting, you know, I'm not, she's not, Shauna's not paying me to tell you this. I'm just being honest. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love this guy. This little thingy thing, thingy thingy thing, ultimate tension guide. So you guys will have to get it. Uh, how much does the knitting machine cost? So it depends on what you get. Like we were talking about the central 48 right now is around 50. This machine right here is around 60 um, US dollars. I don't know what the Addy's going for right now, the Addy 46. I'm sure it's less than normal. Um, but it, like when I bought mine, it was like $250 for the Addy knitting machine. The Addy, yeah. But um, now I think you could probably get it under 200. I would bet. I would bet you could. Um, hello, Deborah in Nashville, Tennessee. It's rainy there. That's no good. That's not good for the eclipse. I love this colorway, guys. Do you guys all love this? Okay, Wendy, thank you. You were my helper today. Wendy, thank you so much for helping. Um, $160? That is a super good buy. Now, if you guys were flippers, like if you had lots of money just laying around, you could buy those up and then sell them for $250 right around the holiday time and make yourself a hundred bucks a machine. Probably could do that um, because they will sell for that much around the holiday time. So that right now, guys, if you are thinking at all about an Addy, right now would be the time. I know it's still a lot of money, but you know, I paid almost a hundred dollars more than that when I bought mine. Uh, Shauna says, any colors besides the Addy theme, we will be adding white 
to the red, black, and the Addy bronze. Oh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Any other colors you'd like to see for that for the Addy the Addy little tension guide? I don't know. I love it though. I don't care what color it is. It could be any color, and it doesn't matter to me. I just love the way it works. I would love to have one of these somehow for this machine. I don't know if your husband can figure that out. I like the tension guide here with the little things, but if he could figure out how to put this little mechanism on a tension guide for this machine, I would almost pay what I paid for the machine for it because I love it so much. I think it's such a great tool because I'll tell you what I did when I did my hat for Friday hat video guys with my Addy machine is typically I my the hats are too tight because when I hold the yarn, I have a tendency to hold it like with my hand against the machine. So it makes it a little tight and you have to hold the yarn. Like you can't just, I don't care what anybody says. You have to hold the yarn unless you're using something like this. And I was able to back it off a little bit and the fit is so much better, like so much better. And I wouldn't have been able to do that without that little tension guide. So Sarah, you're not late. You're not late at all. Not at all. Wendy says red's fine. Um, so yeah, for me, it's a 1241 for Wendy. It's 1140 or 1141. Addy 22s around a hundred dollars. That's worth it too. If you want to get one of those, I know that it seems like a lot of money, but it is worth it. Uh, let's see. Lisa Whaley says, I watched a lady make a wrap made with three, 300 row tubes connected. Make sure I'm not dropping here connected with a pocket on each end and tassels. Oh, she used brunette and brown tones on the Addy 46. It was really nice looking. I have the Z. Yeah. I don't know if the brunette would work on the Z. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I wish I could help you with that. I'll have to try more of that yarn to let you know. Um, but see, for me, the only place that carries it locally for the brunette for me is Meyer. Hello, Nairo. How are you doing, my friend? Glad to see you here. Um, Shauna Morgan, I have him pondering it first. Yes. Okay. See, this is why I use, I've got, look at this guys. I've got not, not. So I don't want that to go through my tension guide. So I will cut this. And then when I get there, well, let me crank to that spot. Um, problem we are running into is the wheel part pulls the yarn. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. It's just legit, you know, yeah, the, the mechanism itself. Yeah. It might, it might not be doable, but Shauna, I love it. I love it for the Addy. So if that's all, if I can only have that for the Addy and this one for this one, that's fine. But if there's any way he could figure that out, that would be awesome. That would be so awesome. Sarah, I'm pretty sure I've used Bernat premium with no issues. I think that's what I use. Bernat, 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 Bernat. I can't talk premium. A lot of my labels are missing now, so I'm not sure. Yeah, that's where I'm at too, Sarah. A lot of times I don't have my labels. Um, Wendy says, Lisa Whaley, check Koala Knits and Knacks pocket shawl. Yeah, well, that might be the one that she watched, Wendy. I don't know. Okay, let me go. Let me keep cranking. Why can't I do two things at once? I, I still can't. I just got to be careful once I get to the knot here. Hold on. I did see Shauna. I haven't watched it yet, but I saw that um, you have videos up for the for the tension guide too. I'll have to watch those. I'm so happy that I can like wear a t-shirt. I hope it stays. I hope that it stays warmer and not and doesn't get colder. And I don't know if you guys saw, but it's the crank knit shirt. You can get it on the merch shop. You can get one for yourself. I know Wendy. I think Wendy has one. I think you do. Purple one. Maybe. Okay. All right. I'm going to cut this and lay it in. Because I do not, do not, do not want the knot in there. And then I'm just going to cut it where this other knot is. And just cut that piece out of there. There we go. And then we shall get that in there. There we go. 
So that's why this is why winding would be better because I would have seen that. I obviously it wasn't a problem. I can deal with it, but if you wind it, then you know where your knots are too. And I think do I have another one that was just fuzz? I need to sweep in here really, really, really bad, guys. I'm I'm behind in my cleaning. I, I am. It doesn't look like I should show you guys over here I'm trying to organize. I'm like trying to do my spring cleaning, but I need to actually clean clean because I have it. <sighs> is it Lusa? How do you ensure that the seam always has the same tension and does not come loose in certain parts? And how many turns are needed for a lady's hat? I'm new to this. Um, yes, it depends on the yarn for how many rows depends on the machine you're using. If you're using the 48 pin, I'm um, going to use a four weight. You're going to be somewhere between 130 to 150 rows for a lady's hat. It just depends. If it's like a thicker four weight, you might need like 150. Um, if you use it like a thinner four, like a Karen Simply Soft, this one, we're at 75 and I haven't hit the board yet. So I'm probably going to do 150 for this. And this is a four weight as well, but it's knitting up a little tighter. And I just lost my camera here. Hold on. Do, do, do. Let me see if I can get it back. So I don't know if you can see that. I've got like a pretty good gap here between the board and this. So I'm going to add more rows. Um, and how I figure that out is like it's 75 right now. However many rows it takes me to hit the bottom here approximately. That's how many rows I add to 130. And that's how many I would do. Um, so as far as tension goes, like I'm using Shauna's tension guide here. And then I'm letting the yarn kind of go over my thumb just to make sure there's no knots. But I would say if you don't have one of these tension guides from Southpaw Fibers and you're using the tension guide that comes with the machine, I'll grab, like, this is my loops and threads machine, but it's the same. If you're using one of these tension guides, you just want to put it in the guide and then also hold the yarn. That's what I would do. And you can keep constant tension that way. But if you're using an aftermarket tension guide like Shauna's, you can wind your yarn and then... Um, or keep an eye on it. You don't have to hold it or babysit it as well for the tension. And you can see my tension is really good with this tension guide. So I don't know if that's helpful, but if you want to get in our crank knit community on Facebook, um, we have a community there and you can always ask questions. You can ask them here. If I can, if I don't miss them, I'm, I apologize if I do. Sometimes I do. Um, oh, so Lisa said that's the one you watch. I'll have to check that out. I don't think I've watched that one, but I think I've seen that Shaw done, um, which would be really cute. Really, really cute. Really cute. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you. Appreciate you. Oh, what purple would be good. Yeah, Shauna, if you can do purple, that would be good because, yeah, that would be good. That would be good. I know it would look a little weird on the Addy, but I like purple. And who cares if it doesn't match? Um, let's see. Rachel Gray, how are you? Happy solar eclipse day to you as well. Oh, it's cloudy there. Yeah, see, that'll be kind of stinky. Uh, thank you for that, Nairo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. I know it's a lot. It's kind of like, it's a lot of information at you, but um, you're always welcome to ask. And like I said, oh, look, you guys, we got another knot here. So I'll have to watch that. Usually I don't have that much trouble with their yarn. Shauna says, purple, you got it. Awesome. When he says eclipse starts in Southwest Arkansas at 1230. So you guys are close. Well, you're about an hour out. A little, little less than an hour out then. Cool. Sharon. Hi. Hello. How are you? Work keeps getting in the way. Finally able to join. Oh, that's so funny. So, yep, you guys, it's getting close to eclipse time. I have to keep an eye out for my knot because I'll have to lay in another one. Let me do this before I forget because I hadn't tied this. And if I, if you guys don't half tie this and you keep, keep going, like this is where I cut it and laid this in, um, laid it, oh, my hair is driving me crazy today. Yeah. I need my little headband things from, uh, from So Yarn Crafty or from Nairo and I don't have any of my things out here. I'll pull it back. I don't have any. Um, I don't want to open a package. Because those are giveaways for Thursday. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, you want to make sure you half tie it because if you if I keep going, it could it could loosen itself up and I could start dropping stitches. So that's something that you want to keep an eye on. 
if you're tying in another color or if you're cutting out a knot like I just did. Okay, there we are. I want to do this before it goes anymore. So I'm going to lay that in and I'm going to cut this knot out. You can see my knot here. I definitely wouldn't want to take that through the machine because it, it would not like it. It would not like the knot. Okay, let me get this in my tensioner again and hang on to my bits. There we go. I thought I had another one. I'm like, are you kidding me? I have another knot, but I didn't. Okay, there we go. So we're at 83 and we're getting close. I think. Let's see, 75. I think we'll get to about 85. So another 10. I might do 145 with this. Maybe. I think I'm going to do 145, not 150. And that might be a little bigger, but if it's like, like this could be a man's hat, I would wear it because I love these colors, but it could be for a man. So, um, so I want to make sure it would fit. Keep popping it off here. Okay, I'm gonna bring this up. You know what? Did I tie that? I did. Okay. So I'll roll this. I do like this is nice baby by Ice Yarns, and I do like it a lot. I do. It's a nice texture to the to the yarn. Uh, yeah, it's warm today, so I don't have my hat on, Rachel. But actually, you guys, look at this though. Let's put it on. We gotta put it on, cause I normally somebody, cause I, cause let's do this. Let's do it. Normally, I am not a pink person. I got my shirt in pink, right? And I, I kind of like the colors with the pink. That's why I ordered it. But look at this. Look at. Okay, it's crooked. But look at how cute. Do I look like Polly Pocket or Rainbow Bright or something? I kind of like it. It looks a little crazy. I think I'll wear it till the end because it'll keep the hair out of my face, even though it's a little warm in here. So now we'll go back. There you go, Rachel, just for you. But I have to say, now it's really, it's snug, but it's not so snug that I like, it's, it's a good fit, guys. For me, typically with the Addy 46, that's what I use to make this one. I normally wouldn't wear the hats because they hurt my head. Like after, you know how if you have a headband on and it's just a little too tight, they would fit and I could put them on, but they would squeeze my head to the point where I didn't like it. It made me uncomfortable. But this one feels good. I thought it was good. So we're at 90. Yeah. Rainbow bright. Doesn't it look like rainbow bright. I think it does, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Rhonda, what did you attach to the magnet for the counter? My magnet. Oh, um, okay. The, the counter I used one of the, um, command 3M command sticky backs for like a little tiny hook. So I didn't glue this one on for this, for the magnet here, I used, um, I don't have it out here, but it's like liquid glue that is for crafting and it's for, it's a permanent, um, I, I don't have it out here. I don't know what it's called. I know like, um, I've also used, but on one of the other machines I use Tybo, like it's almost what you use for paper crafting, but it's permanent. So like plastics and woods and things, and it, and it has worked really well. I just put like one, um, little dot or one little dot on each corner where it goes in, like on this side and that side, and it, it's held very well. So I don't know. I would use, they, it came with super glue, but I didn't want to use super glue because if I want to take it off, I can with this glue, um, but it's permanent enough, but it's not like super glue permanent, if that makes sense. It's almost like a hot glue, but it's not hot. I don't know how else to describe it. I don't know what the name of it is though. I'm sorry. Sorry, can't help with that. Um... Uh, what did Rhonda say here? Abby Cadabby vibes for sure. <laughs> Abby Cadabby. It's a little crazy. It's a little crazy, but it kind of fits, I think. It kind of fits. <laughs> Shauna, Rainbow Bright. Yeah, doesn't it look like Rainbow Bright? Or like my daughter had Polly Pockets too. It kind of reminds me of that. 
how do you, um, Joanne says, how do you put um, your two palms on like deciding on where placement? I will tell you when I, it, very easy, very simple. I lay the hat down like this. Okay. Um, and I use Shauna's little like bear paw. And I have more of those to give away. I think, I don't know what I did with them though. They're down here. I used two of these. Shauna has these little guys on her shop on Southpaw Fiber Arts. I used two of those. But what I do is I lay my hat down and I put the palms like where I think they'll look good. So now these look like dead animals because I have not fluffed them down here in my drawer. Um, but I would take these and then I just want, while it's laying flat on the table, I kind of figure out where I want them. But where they look good, what I found is where they look good when it's laying down like this, they will, they will look good on your head, if that makes sense. But usually about right there is what I do. So I'll grab one of them. I'll take my crochet hook and I'll go through. I'm just really careful to try to go straight at where it's at with my little crochet hook. I use one like this, little tiny one. And I go straight through, pull it through, and then use the little, the little puck. And since you use these little, if you get the little um, palm savers like this, you can move them around if you don't like where it's at. It's super simple. Then it's not permanent, you know? Um, you can adjust them. But that's that's how I do it. I just lay it flat on the table and I kind of just, you know, get it all sorted out. And wherever they look good, that usually works. That That's what I found. Works pretty, pretty darn well. Pretty simple. Now, if you're like sewing them on, like stitching them in or whatever, uh, what I would do is probably you know, not tie them off. If you're going to use, like, if you're making your own palms, like the, the yarn palms, I would put, you know, take and put one on, on the one side and maybe tie it in a bow and not knot it and do the same on the other side and tie it in a bow and not knot it and figure out if that's where you want them before you're like making them permanent. So hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully, hopefully, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh, Nikita said, I used tape at first, but it kept falling off. And now, yeah, it was super glue. But I wish I, I don't have the glue bottle out here. After it's over, I, I will, um, I'll look up the glue that I, the actual glue that I use. I know Tybo is one of them, I think. Not, it, that works pretty well. And then this other one, I used a different one. But it's like a, you know, it's a shelf-stable glue. So it's not hot glue. But it, but it acts like hot glue. Like it has little stringies, if that makes sense. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you so much. Oh, Wendy says, Shauna, thank you for the gummy bears. <laughs> that she, she sends like a little package in with her little package. Yeah, it's very nice. Oh, yeah. Three in one craft glue. Who said that? Kathy Williams. I think that is it. I think you are right. Kathy Williams, I think you are right. I think you are right. Three in one craft glue. I think you're right. Um, and Shauna says, you're welcome, Wendy. Okay. Let me get adjusted, readjusted here. Because I'm... Um, kind of out of sorts a little bit. All right. So we're going to do, what did I say? I'm going to do 145. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think we're going to be close to using most of this too. All right. It still looks kind of normal outside to me, except for here lately, it hasn't been sunny, so we have more sun today than we've had in a long time, which is hilarious. Right. It likes the gray and the white because it's way easier to crank. Now I'll have to make sure that I remember to tie off my knots when I'm done here. So don't let me forget that, okay? Do you have a shop where you sell those hats? Zoe, I don't. I'm going to be opening an Etsy shop, but not for the hats. I give the hats away. I donate them to area um, shelters. Now, I don't know. I still, I'm still, i still not convinced I want to sell any of them. I am going to sell something else, but it's not hats. Y'all have to wait and see what it's going to be. Yeah, I don't sell any of the hats. Not not right now.
but by watching the videos and things, you guys are helping. Um, so watch the ads, even though they're annoying, because it helps me buy the yarn to make the hats to give the hats away. And yes, it's fun. To know. Oh, Joanne, you're you're very welcome. I love making hats for Santa Claus girls, and I'm sure the kids would love them. Yes, they would really like the double. I think the double palms are cute. I will tell you, it's fun, funny enough when I uh, when I donated to the area homeless shelter that I donate to, and that's where I've given most of my hats to. I had uh, twice now. I've had um, men in the shelter ask me for the double palm hats. They're like, "Do you have any more of the double palm hats?" Which I think is the sweetest thing. So I try to include some of the double palm ones in there, along with um, you know some without and just a, like a variety. Uh, raining again. Oh, Judith. Yeah, that's a bummer. Wendy says, all right, I need to go. Someone is here about some cows. Well, go manage your cows. You're, are you selling a cow? Probably selling a cow. Have a good day, Wendy. Thank you for being here. Wendy has lots of beautiful cows, guys. Lots and lots of beautiful cows. I'm trying to, like, make sure this doesn't get hung up. So I'm watching it. It's so interesting though, guys, like how, when you have the pattern yarn, this colorway that's like this and y'all, if you've, if you've made very many hats with like the striped colorways, how some of the colors crank so much easier than the other ones. It's so weird how that happened. Mm. And I know it has to do with the dye laps and like how the, the yarn expands with some of the colors. I don't know. It kind of baffles me though. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Our yarn ball, our yarn skein is getting much smaller though. But the person who asked about the rose, the rose before, um, typically like Heartland, Karen Simply Soft, uh, Yarn Be Glowing, Yarn Be Soft Secret, all of those softer, shinier yarns like this, I generally only do 130 rows. That's usually my go-to. Um, it's when I get into the thicker, um, yarns that don't, that knit up a little tighter or thinner yarns that knit up tighter because you can have both ways. I do more, more rows. But usually my go with my go-to yarns, like my Lion Brain Heartland, I usually just do 130. Usually, oh, I got this all wrapped around my thumb. All right. I don't know if I'm going to get to. We'll have to see. I think I remember doing like more rows with this yarn, but we'll see here because I might only be able to do what I can because the yarn skein is getting pretty thin. And Shauna asked what the Santa Claus girls are for Joanne. I'm going to do a poll later, guys. And But as for those of you who are on live right now, because I still have quite a handful of you on here. Um, let's see, Sarah says, every time I watch it live, I get inspired to pull out my machine again. But then I look at all the things I have lined up to hand knit. My temperature blanket is, I, you know what, Sarah, I am so behind on my temperature blanket too. I love crocheting it, love working on it, but I very far behind. So I need to yeah, I need to spend a few hours on that. No, I hear you. I hear you, Sarah. I Sarah, I hear you a lot. Um, but 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 yes, what was I saying? What was I saying? Shoot. I drew a blank. You guys help me. Oh, 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 I know what I was gonna ask you. How do you guys feel about Timu? How do you feel about Timu? Can you even order Nikita Timu where you're at? Do you are you guys like it's not for me. 
let me know in the comments is is have you shopped on timu what is your experience with timu do you like you wouldn't shop on timu are you a no timu so you know are you timu or yeah i need to do a poll i'll do one in the group i want to ask them um but i'm curious to know do you have timu where you're at nikita yeah i'm curious to know chris says no timu for me probably because of the like you know losing your information or is that why oh and joey says santa claus girls have been in kent county for years they collect hats and some toys for children that aren't able to for christmas that's awesome i've heard about people getting their credit card info being taken and timu yes was the only new thing they did sarah yes so i'm curious yeah share with me what your feelings are about timu i'm curious Cause I ordered, I ordered something recently through them and I ordered one of my, mis my machines through them. And that's all I've ordered so far. I haven't had any issue, but I know that there's a lot out there in the interwebs about them. And I just kind of want to know what, how you all feel about it. Uh, yeah, Chris has too many bad things. Um, Nikita said, I recently put Timu on my phone and immediately started receiving scam calls. Interesting. I know they flood you with, um, like, if you do, like, if you put your phone number in there. Oh, I lost my camera again. Let me see if it comes back, guys. There we go. It just went, boom. It went away. Just like that. There we go. There, it's back again. Um, let's see. Lisa says, well, it's great to get a cheap price. Uh, it's taken away from American sellers. Yeah. Yeah. Except for American sellers don't sell most of the stuff that's on Timu. Cause like even these machines, nobody sells them. Like they come from China, but yes. Um, Judas says friends use AliExpress. Yeah. And I haven't ordered on AliExpress either. Um, Deborah, I got both my centers from Timu and see, I got one of them. I paid $13 for it guys. That was the first thing I ever bought from them. It's not for me. I ordered some things and ended up sending everything back. Um, also worry about personal info. Yep. Um, Nikita said, so I deleted the app from my phone. So, okay. So yeah. So you feel like it's a bit scammy, right? Uh, currently send hospitals. Oh, Shauna said, yes. The Santa Claus girls. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Doesn't it? Molly says no issues with Timo. Stay safe and use a rechargeable gift card for payments. Oh, that's a good idea. And I will answer my email, Molly, I promise. Thank you for being here. Because <laughs> I went through and read them. I just haven't answered anything yet. I haven't checked it out yet. So Sarah says, if I was going to buy from Timo, I might use a pre prepaid MasterCard or something. I wonder, like, can you, I think you can use PayPal. Can you use PayPal? I know some of you maybe aren't PayPal people either, right? Nikita says, I always use AliExpress. And see, AliExpress to me would be similar, I would think, to Timo. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but, um, but I just wanted to know what your guys' experience was. And I know that I knew some of you would have like had, have had experience. Ooh, let's see. I'm at one We'll see. I might just use it all up and we'll see where we're at. Lisa Whaley, AliExpress is very similar. It's a lot of overseas, I believe, um, products. So um, so you can get stuff really, really inexpensively. But I, I not everything. I mean, but they have kind of like Timu, right, Nikita? Like they have lots of stuff, like lots of different stuff from AliExpress. But I've never ordered from them. I've looked at it before, but I've never ordered. I'll show you how much we have left. This is what this is what we have left. And hopefully it's not going to turn into like a massive knot. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it will not. So we'll see what we have left and how, how, where it'll get us. We might not get to 145. I think we will, though. About 10 more rows. Um, let's see. I got calls from Africa, Nigeria, and messages from girls who want to come. Oh, interesting. That's interesting. Deborah says, if you don't play the games they, they have, you should be fine. I played one of the games and had to change my debit card. Ooh, that's scary. I don't like that. Cheryl Wilkins, I did not like the quality of the merchandise. I did have, well, you know what? I got freebies. 
like on my team or on my team at order on my team at order where I got the Centro, I got some freebies and they were kind of, eh, they're kind of janky. Not going to lie. Um, I guess it depends on what you order from Timu. Yeah. Kathy says they push their app. I don't have the app on my tablet. I use my PayPal. No problem so far. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. All right. We're, I think we're going to make it. We're going to make it to 145, I believe just barely, but we are. So it's getting tangled up on itself here. Getting to the end. You know what? I got to make sure I have enough to pass off too. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I should. I should have enough. Let me get this. Why are you so tangly? <laughs> This is why you should wind your yarn, Sherry. Oh, I need to wind my yarns. If you give it the shake, right? The shake always works, right? Now it's outside of the box. getting tight. Our last, this is our last go around. Let me see if I can get it untangled. Let's me see. And then we'll cast off, I'll knot it up, and then we'll be donezos. I keep thinking it's going to get like real funky outside. <laughs> Think it's going to get real funky? I have to tell you though, I do not hear any birds chirping, which is very odd because we usually have lots of noise from birds. I'm not hearing any. That's a little weird. That's a little strange. Okay, there we go. So now let's cast off. I had, look at this guys. I have just enough. Like this was perfect. Perfection. I could have just like went the last little bit here, but it's like yarn chicken and I don't want it. This is what I have left. There's more of it. I could have done like maybe like one more row. <laughs> so that's really good. 145. Okay. So let's cast this baby off. Cast it off. Look at my mess. My messy box here of all my things. Why do I have fuzz in there? Let's get rid of that. It's polyfill. Polyfill gets in everything that I own. All right. Did you guys watch my Willy Crank on Sunday? Because, guys, 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 I haven't sent the hat to my daughter yet. I probably, it'll probably get there and it'll be too warm for Astrid to wear it. But, all right. Tell me, does it not look like dog hair? Because I think it does. See? See? It like bugs me. I don't know. I don't know. This is the uh, Big Twist Fleck. I did a video on the Will It Crank. My machine didn't like it, guys. It didn't It didn't like it. But I just want to pick all this off. It's the polyamide, I think. It's like the plastic that gives it the halo. But it's really long pieces. So it's not like they'll just fall off. They're weaved in pretty well. But I don't know. It kind of bugs me. It kind of bugs me. It kind of bugs me. Okay, so we're casting off now. And you just want to, for anybody who's a newbie, I know you guys all, for all of my seasoned, my seasoned crankers, you've heard this tons, but I would just do, like, when you're casting off, I would just release, you can release one stitch at a time. Like here, I could do just one stitch, that's released, I can, you know, go ahead and feed my cast, my cast off line through there. Because what happens is this is where... If you're not careful at the end, you can get all the way, you know, to the end and then drop your stitches. And you just want to be very mindful of that. The other little tip that you can do is you can put your finger. So like I can, when I start to pull this one, I can put my finger there. So the other one doesn't fall off. I just got to make sure my needle wants to always stick to the magnet. 
and see now, then I'll go through and do this, which I probably shouldn't do. Um, and I have drop stitches by doing it this way. But you start to get the feel for what you can do or what'll work. I don't suggest doing like picking up a bunch of stitches if it's a yarn that um, like an eyelash yarn or the facets yarn, I would just do one stitch at a time. Anything that's like that roving style, do not pick multiple up. Just a little tip there because if you do, what happens, let me show you. Like if I do like, you know, a whole bunch of stitches like this and then it gets hung up in this as I'm pulling, it cannot, and you don't want that to happen because then you'll cry because you did all that work. And then, yeah. So just kind of be um, mindful of that. If it's like that facet style, that's kind of like roving. Um, yeah, don't, don't, don't pick up a bunch of stitches at one time. This yarn does pretty well, so I can do it. This, this nice, um, is it nice baby? Is that what I said it was? I think that's what it is. Nice baby. Um, it, it is reminiscent to me of, um, like I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby, but thinner. So it does better because I have issue with, I love this yarn. Some of the, I love this yarns from Hobby Lobby, but this yarn feels like that yarn, but a thinner version of it, if that makes sense. I'm hung up on that one. Get off of there. Get off of there. Okay. So we'll get this off. I'll pull my table out and then we'll finish it up. Okay. Let me take this off here. And then I'll push this underneath the table and then we'll pull the little table out because that seems to work really well. Hang this guy up. Hold on. I'll be right back. We'll do that. There we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is let me switch my table here and then I will go back down and we'll show you. There we go. Okay. All right. So now what I need to do is I need to not where I ended up cutting the yarn because I put my seat down now a little bit. There we go. First, I'm going to stretch it. Stretchy, stretchy. I do like the colorway. I like it. 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 It's very fallish. I know it's springtime, whatever. It's okay. Because we just make hats all the time. Okay. So I, I always get the slack out. And then like I, like right now, typically I just keep nodding. But some, some little tip here is you can put your finger where that's at and then look at the other side and see how it looks. Cause this is where it is. See if it looks wonky, if you need to fix it a little bit more or not. And, and I just kind of stretch the stitches and get out the slack. If you pull it too tight, you'll kind of cinch that line and you don't want to do that. Cause this is going to hit, this is going to hit in the, in the brim which is not great. It's not, not, not the ideal location for a knot, but there's nothing I can do about it really. So I'm only going to just do two just because I don't want it to be lumpy. And that I did just a little too tight, but okay. Okay. So now we'll turn it the other way and I can feel my little knots. I got one there. I don't know where the other one's at, but I think we'll go, I don't know. I think we'll go this way, I think. And we'll do this black at the top. And then what I do is I, you know, I pull it inside of itself. And then I always try to get my tails so that they're like next to each other so that it lays well and I don't get it all in a bunch. Then my knitting is all neat and tidy. And now we're going to cinch. I know I talk through everything. I know I do. That might bother some of you. I don't know. It's just the way I am. I can't shut my mouth. Okay. And this cinch is really nice. This yarn, it does. Now I say that and I'll probably break it, but I don't think so. This yarn seems extra sturdy to me. It's a nice, like almost like anti-pilling, like very nice yarn. I like ice yarns. I like ice. It's nice. I just wish that I didn't have to buy it in packs of four. 
Um, that would make me happier. If I could just buy it in a single skein. I know, I know. And see, this is 145 rows. You can see it's not huge, right? It's not huge. Okay, so we've cinched that. I go inside. I just make sure I don't have any kind of like pucker in there. That's what I call it. I want to make sure if you do that it's all tucked up. And then I'm going to knot this off. And I probably, I don't know if I'll put a palm on this. Whoops, or not, or not. Um, and you can see I have extra long tails because that's just me. Let me get my needle again. What do I do with that? I put it back over here. And then we'll put this on the inside. I'll knot it again and then I'll hide my tails and then we'll be done. Then we'll be donezos. And you can see it's, it's cinched really well. And then see, I knot it again. And I think I won't put a palm on this one because then it's fully reversible. Because someone might like it the other way too. Oh, let's see. I missed some of this stuff here. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, um, Nikki said, I suspect it comes from the same storage here. Oh, for the, the Timu and the AliExpress, I agree. Takes just as long to get here from the Netherlands. I bet stuff takes a while. I wish I could send stuff. Nikita, see, I wish I could just throw something in the mail to you. I think about this. Like I've been dealing with this Kenya order for so long, getting stuff to her. And I just, it so frustrates me because it's not easy to ship stuff, guys. Like I know some of, um, some people are a little not happy that they can't get, um, that South Pole Fiber Arts maybe isn't shipping internationally. I'll tell you, it's not easy, guys. The whole shipping thing, it's almost disappointing. I mean, I think about us being able to talk like this and, um, and all the stuff we can do over the, you know, over the internet, but shipping stuff logistically is, is not, it's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, isn't it pretty Connie? I love it. I love it. I really like the colors. Um, Sarah says we are close to total eclipse here at like 99.6 when it starts. That's so cool. That's so cool. I'm just, yeah. No birds, guys. There are no birds like chirping at all. Mm. Um, let's see. Try washing it first before sending on. Try washing it first before sending on. What was I talking about? I don't know, Judith. I'm lost. Connie, I hear birds. My ducks and chickens are carrying on. See, my... We have no birds. That's very weird. Hello? in Indonesia. How are you? Hello, Paula. Hello. I'm just finishing up. Love the colors that I do too. Um, Naira says, I'm sorry. I have a sick child. I'm trying to multitask. I'm mostly out of love. That's okay. No worries. Praying for your sick child. I'm so sorry. If you get a chance to rewatch. Yeah, I love it too. I love it. Naira. Lots of paperwork to get here. Yes. Yes. See? Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Kim, it's 61 here. It feels so nice. Okay, let me fold this up. Okay, so this is what we got. So there's this side, guys, like that. And you get the little bit of black. I wish we had a little bit more. Or we could turn it this way. Oh, I don't know. I think I like, I might like that. I like the black. I don't know what you guys think. Should we go with the black for for the Eclipse Monday, right? Isn't it nice? It's a nice hat, but it's not huge. See that? It's not huge. Like, here's this one. See? They're close though. This one's got a bigger brim though. See, it's not huge, but I did it tighter though. I had it on tighter. Like I weaved it. I could have done looser tension. I need to play around with that a little bit more. So let me go back to my face. That's all I got guys. Me and my rainbow bright hat. Let me get this out of the way. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for those of you who are still with me, but that's it. That's our hat for today. It's very nice. It's very nice. It's a nice thing. Let me get this off of here. You don't want to see my lap, right? It's like right above me. That's not pretty for anybody. All right, guys. Uh, the yarn is It's Nice Baby from Ice. Or Nice. It's Nice Baby, right? Isn't it Nice Baby? Hold on. Let me look. I think it's Nice Baby. I think it's Nice Baby. It's not the anti-pilling magic. I know it's Nice Baby. I know it is. I know it is. But I, and I think the color, it's a number, Nairo. So... Um, I don't know what the color number is. It's probably in one of my videos. I'll maybe go back and look. 
Thank you, Connie. Thank you. Yeah, the black side. I kind of like the black side. Kind of like that. And it would look really cute with the black palm, too. I don't know if I have any more. I'll have to look. But I think I might not do the black uh, palm because then it'll be reversible, like I said. All right, guys. So that's all I got. Now, you got, y'all have to be back. You all. Y'all. I say y'all like I'm from the South just because I stole it from the Southerners because I think it sounds cool. I'm definitely not from the South. <laughs> not at all. Um, y'all have to come back, though, on Thursday, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We'll do coffee and chat. We'll talk a little bit more. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We'll be back. I'll be back. So I'm not, I won't be here tonight, guys. I won't be here tonight. And look in your email for um, either, probably tomorrow. I'll have the Zoom link out for what the dates are and the links to the Zooms, the upcoming Zooms. We'll be doing those soon. So anyways, y'all, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be safe today. Do not go look at the sun unless you have the special glasses because I want you all to save your vision because we all have to make stuff and you got to see to do that. So, um, but thank you for being here. See you on Thursday. Hope you can come back. Hopefully, hopefully. So have a good rest of your day. And remember, remember, go buy a t-shirt and then stay cranky. We'll see you later. Bye now. Bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye.